Heidi. I'm Chelsea Handler, and this is my house. Come on in. So I've lived here since, I think, 2010 is what I've been told. It's my first house that I've ever bought. And there was just a lot of closed off spaces and I really wanted open spaces and I wanted indoor outdoor living because why else are we living in California if we don't get all of those things. My main feature is really entertainment and warmth. I wanted a modern feel but I didn't want it to be stuffy. I'm not stuffy, obviously. I'm from New Jersey. It's impossible to be stuffy if you're from there. This is the little entryway. I want to stop here because I have some special items here. This Alex Prager print was a gift from my dear friend, Shelly Azoff. This woman is Julia Garner, who is an actress, and she was in one of my favorite shows, Dirty John. But I got this as a gift for my 40th, which is representative of everything I did from my 30s to my 40s, which was smoke cigarettes and drink heavily. And then if we turn around, this is the nicest piece of art I probably have ever bought myself because I went to Art Basel one year with a boyfriend at the time, and I thought, I better buy something. The artist is Joel Shapiro, whose work I now love. But I didn't know what this was. I just thought it was cool. And I thought, I'm at an art fair. I should pick something up. And so I got it. And then I found out about three years later, it's called Girl Dancing on Water, which is perfect, because this is exactly how I dance. OK, so this is the kitchen, which I do mostly nothing in. This is Agate. So I had a friend that was living with me, and she loved Agate. And so we picked out these kind of like mild neutral colors because the cabinetry was already done. And I kind of liked that it was a weird color, like a light blue kind of medical grade color. I just thought that was funky. And I thought, why not, like, let's enhance that. The countertop was just flat and like half the size of this. So I wanted to extend it and have different levels. So there's a cooking area and then there was like kind of a loungy area. This is where most people end up smoking cigarettes at the end of the night at my house. If they smoke inside, which I'm totally for, I want people to do whatever they want whenever they want. This is where you would prepare the food from what I've seen. This is an espresso machine. And if you look closely, you'll see the directions are all here for me because I'm too stupid to figure out how to do it on my own. So this is my medicine jar. This is where I keep a lot of my joints and weed and what have you. Sometimes I find other things in here that are even more exciting. You know, this is my lifestyle. If you come over here, this is my dining room table. And the wood from this is from Venice, Italy, from the piers in Venice, Italy. They reclaim the wood. And then there's only like 17 or 18 dining room tables like this. So I got to hold on to this for a while before I sell it. This is my den. This is our like little casual, sometimes I watch TV in here. This is kind of like my ex-boyfriend room because this gift, this Vitali, was given to me by an ex-boyfriend. This, for a long time, I thought was a bunch of people on a ski slope. And about two years in after having this, somebody said, oh my god, I've been to that beach. And I thought, what? And then I looked and realized everyone's in a bathing suit. And indeed, it is a beach, and it's not a ski mountain. So once again, I have things in my house that I know nothing about. Okay, so this couch is Moroso. It's called the Gentry Sofa. And I bought this myself in a store. I want, went in, sat on it, and I was like, I need this. It's got this cool red stitching, and it's the most comfortable sofa that I've ever sat on. I have this beautiful chandelier because I like to think of my house as more soft contemporary because it's kind of softer than, it's not stark. But I like features like this because it does kind of soften up and makes it a little bit more whimsical. This, somebody got me this. A lot of the hot stuff in my house are gifts. And, you know, obviously that means a lot to me because I'm a friendship kind of person. This must have been when I was going through my topless phase, which I'm kind of still going through. So it's like tricky. I don't know when to put my clothes on and when to take them off. Sorry. And this is pretty much my favorite addition because it's so warm and cozy. It's kind of idyllic for a congregation room. And this is the more adult room. This is where the beginning of the night happens, when people are still you know, forming complete sentences. I love culturally having different things from different artists. Since I don't really know anything about art myself, I appreciate when people help me. This is from my friend who works with me at my production company. This is right on message. This is from my friend Annie Morris. She's an artist in London. I told her I wanted to, her to sculpt something for me, and this is what she came back with. I would have appreciated something grander, but whatever. I mean, we're still friends. And uh, I got these in Colombia. Yeah. 
these are all my p adventure pictures. These are my family, my brothers, my sisters, my best friends. And this is our little game room. I have this little Miss Pac-Man machine because when I grew up, Miss Pac-Man was my favorite game in the entire universe. And my, my sisters bought mitzvah. My, my father rented a Donkey Kong machine and a Miss Pac-Man machine for 24 hours, and I played it for 20 hours straight. I love Miss Pac-Man, and this has like 50 games on it. So when kids come over, which I do in the summertime, I have pool parties and stuff for my friends and their kids. These are Chewy's feet bronzed. Somebody gave me at the end of Chelsea lately. This is a street sign from the street I grew up on, Morningside Drive in Livingston, New Jersey. And then these are antiques. I got these at an auction, an antique auction. I had a friend who used to live with me and she kind of was good at finding furniture and antique stuff and like cool mid-century stuff. So this is George Nakashima. I got these on auction. Pictures, 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 anything interesting. Africa is always interesting. There's the Eiffel Tower with my sister and my cousin. So this is the gym. I work out. I spend a lot of time in my gym. I'm passionate about working out. I like to work out a lot. I got a new Peloton recently because people won't shut up about it. So I decided to get one and of course I'm hooked. But I don't take the classes because I like to watch the news. Okay, so if you come upstairs, sorry about the doggy steps, but my dog is overweight and otherwise he goes flying down. This is by Carrie Mae Weems. I love this just because it's colorful and bright and it makes me happy to see little kids that I don't have to take care of. This is my real dedication to children. My bunk bed room, my bunk bed room for my nieces and nephews. But what's funny is I've spent a lot of nights in here because sometimes when I want to really feel cozy and snuggly, I just come in here with the dogs and sleep in this bunk bed and it's pretty comfortable. This is my kind of office room. This is where I do my writing for my stand-up or for my book or whatever I'm writing at the time. And this is from my old makeup artist, Gina. She got me the boot of Italy because she was Italian. So I guess that was a gift for herself. And uh, this was custom made. I had a designer that worked with me when I moved in here. I wanted a bunk bed, a big one on the bottom and a little one on the top. So they kind of outfitted it for the space. So you can't get it out of here is the thing. I think it's like attached to the, oh yeah, it's one big unit with the bookshelves. But it's just such a cute room and I just love it. I love it. It's probably my favorite room other than my bathroom. And then this is where all the magic happens. Come on in. This is my bedroom. So originally this was a wall. There was no glass and there was no way to see the pool and the bed was facing out and there were two doors on either side of the bed to go out. We built out the balcony here, blew it out this way and then on either side so that it could be like a seating area and that we could have access to the pool. At one point I was entertaining having a water slide installed off of my balcony into the pool but my attorney said that's a huge liability and I told him he was a boner killer. We redid the bedroom and then they did this beautiful ceiling and they put the wood up and I didn't know what they were talking about when they were describing doing it but I love when I'm sitting down and I look up and just see the wood. I got this incredible bookcase. You know, to me the most important thing to have in a house are books. I grew up with books and papers, newspapers everywhere and books everywhere and just kind of, it's the thing that makes me feel most at home and feel like uh, safe in a way like okay you know like if things ever get too stressful or you're not feeling your best or you're having self-doubt you can always find something in a book that is going to make you feel a little bit uh, more optimistic about everything and here's a map of Martha's Vineyard which is the place I grew up in my uh, childhood and we go every summer my family does we don't have a house there anymore but we rent so that's kind of the most important place for me that's a map of the Roman Empire from another ex-boyfriend probably. The chases are from Casina and I loved, first of all, their felt, which is the best. And they came in all these great colors. So of course I was torn between the green or the purple, but I decided to go with purple because I can't just be so masculine all the time. I have to remind people that I actually do have feminine qualities. So here they are, okay? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. This is my bed. These are never usually here and these should probably be replaced because they're old and satin. But this is my uncle who passed away recently, so I have him close by. These are all my spiritual books, just in case I need a reminder to not be an asshole. I have the doggy steps to lure Bert and Bernice up here. I used to have to take them on leashes, and a big victory is that now when I just say go upstairs, they come right up. I usually sleep on this side, but sometimes I try and shake things up because it's not really a mattress that you can flip, so there's like one big sunken hole on this side. And this is kind of my haven. This bedroom right here is pretty much all I need.
And then my closet right here, I have my refrigerator. So I have all my beverages. I have all my snacks up here. I have ice here in case I want to have a cocktail and I have that kind of evening. There's a lot of hanging out in this room too late night when my girl's friends are over. Between my bedroom, my closet, and my bathroom, I kind of feel like that's all that a person really needs. I don't need this big house, but I love it. And I've definitely broken it in. I like my house to be used. And I love when people are using it. Even when I'm not here, I love when people are using it. I love when relatives or friends need to use it. So it's nice to have a house I can share with so many people. Bet you didn't know that about me. This is my bathroom. I put the doggy bowls up here so that they know they're always welcome. The house came with these Japanese toilets, which people seem to love. I've never once used it or warmed my butt or cleaned with that. There's also a bidet. That's usually where I put my phone at night so it doesn't bother me. My shower is also very complicated. So sometimes I have to have my cleaning lady home when I take the shower because turning the temperature or the steam on is very complicated for me. So you'll notice that there are also directions on the shower and on multiple occasions I've taken a shower with my cleaning lady. So we redid this whole bathroom. Uh, I wanted a double shower so they put that in but what I really wanted was a steam room because I love uh, infrared saunas. So I have a little, little nook area in here where I read my books in the morning. And I also have my little suits that I'm supposed to wear for the sauna but that's if you want to hyperventilate. I rarely take baths, but it's a nice bathtub for people who do want to take baths. And of course I have his and hers bathroom for the time when I decide to settle down with my beau. Mm. I had these uh, designers, Jamie Dury, these two Australian guys. Well, Jamie Dury's one guy, but his partner is another guy and they're both Australian, so that makes two. If if you do math. And they designed all this outdoor furniture. They custom made it for my house and we picked out the colors, we picked out the length, the measurements. So all the furniture outside is from them. All the lighting, all the lanterns there. The heat lamps are not from them. Ping pong is a big feature at my house. I play a lot of ping pong. I'm pretty good at it, so don't challenge me. But it's very much like a kind of my own little, it feels like I'm in a solarium when I'm here because of the greenery and I'm surrounded by greenery. I didn't think I needed that kind of vibe in my life. I thought, oh yeah, like I'm a city girl, but I really do like the tranquility of coming home and being surrounded by trees and green. All of these glass windows were not here. Like everything was just kind of walls. And I wanted to open it up so that you could go from one side of the house and see through the other to the pool. So all of these doors open up through the living room on that side as well and pretty much throughout the house so that it has that indoor outdoor vibe and then they designed all this outdoor stuff for me too Jamie Dury so that we have you know lounging area here lounging area there but I would say mostly people congregate in this area because we like people to go in and out of the pool I love it when it rains in LA I know a lot of people freak out and people don't know how to drive and they don't know how to handle the situation but I'm from the East Coast so I like a little weather back here we had a pizza oven installed because I make so much pizza from scratch. So this is another little kind of nook. There's an outdoor kitchen here when we have pool parties or events, usually they'll set up out here and cook and make whatever prep here. And so this can be kind of a little walk up bar for burgers, tacos or whatever we're doing that night. This pizza oven comes with a bunch of its own logs as you can see under here and you have to heat it up for about four days. So not a great purchase. Luckily it, that was also a gift. Oh, let's see if there's anything in here. Alcohol. There you go. And ice. I'm very big on ice. I have five ice machines in this house because I'm very passionate about ice. I think it's an international issue and people aren't taking it seriously. And now with global warming, no one ever will. I've probably redone my pool three times because I don't like that iridescent finish. I like the matte finish, but the matte finish is incredibly hard to maintain. I will probably redo this pool again, but I mean, it's a whole fiasco every time I do it. And this was Esther Williams' house, who was an Olympic swimmer. And then there's a little hillside. If you take the steps up, you can kind of go up there and you get a nice little view from the top. And I had a treadmill up there for about six months and then it stopped working. So they told me not to have treadmills outside, even in California. This furniture, has yet to be updated to match the rest because I just had the decks stain this color to match the rest of the edifice of the house. So we're waiting to redo those, but this is a nice little congregation area too. We designed the chocolate top of that chimney to match the rest of the house and pull everything in. I like these warm colors and I like the warm vibes. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what this is. It's just another little area. As you can see, there's lots of little areas. 
for the hillside I moved in, it was just, it was really nothing. I mean, there was not a lot of planting done and I just thought it was a huge opportunity to have like a moving, kind of like a magic carpet. And that's how I described it to my landscaper. I was like, I just want it to be colorful and be lush. Some nights I like to come out like five or six o'clock, have a cocktail and just stare at this hillside. And it's a good kind of quieting, quieting exercise for my busy little brain. Okay, well, that's my house, you guys. Um, I would love for you all to stay, but you have to pretend like you're leaving now and just come around the back and I'll make some margaritas. I won't make them, but I'll have, I'll, I'll, I'll have somebody make them. And then, oh, oh, wait, this is my favorite feature. My window pane, floating glass, and this whole solarium entryway. I wanted it to feel floating, and they did it. Little Balinese action, sort of. I don't know what it is, but anyway, I love it. Bye, guys, thank you.